Thank you so much for joining us on MSG for New York Red Bull Soccer. As we take a look at the great city of Montreal, this is Red Bull Soccer presented by Dodge. Red Bull's Bradley Wright Phillips up front. Eric Alexander in a holding role. No Henri, no Cahill, no Dax McCarty. And that's why Mike Petke has tweaked the lineup. Vio, of course, back from suspension. Scored a week ago. He's got Justin Mapp, Filippo, and Romero right behind him. And Troy Perkins in net to deal with the Red Bull. Kamara fighting Matteo Ferrari. Algerian-born Italian international. Now Kimura steps up to win it for Red Bulls. Knocked away and then right to Heath Pierce. Now opportunity here for Montreal. This is Felipe slipping it through and staying on side and putting it into the net. It is Andres Romero and Montreal has the lead. One to nothing. Felipe linking up with Romero and the Red Bulls trail. I talked about the dangerous trio, Romero, Felipe. Watch Felipe. That's just a brilliant ball. He turns Armando around in a pirouette in a 360. That's just too easy. And Sagaya, he should have read that better. They were caught flat-footed, Sagaya and Armando. Nobody pressured Felipe, and he just put it on a platter. One of those guys Mike Becky seems to like, but then we haven't really seen him get a chance yet this season. Now DeVaio. Flag stays down. DeVaio at the byline. Cuts around, takes the shot. A deflection by Robles, and it is it saved off the line? Or does Romero have a second? They say it does not cross the line. Now Armando diving header to knock it out. Montreal fans applauding the effort, but boy, Red Bulls dodged the bullet there. For Chip. Oh, you talk about chaos. Kimura makes a great play, gets a chest on it, and then Sagaya. That's big time. Obviously, the ball's going in the net. Sagaya does a great job timing it, flicking it out with the right foot. Kimura, give him credit, too. He Get to the ball. Dotted to the side. Miller goes back to Sagaya. Got to be impressed as well. We've talked about the chances that Montreal's had offensively, Shep, but they've done a good job of pressure on defense as well. Well, they have, but then again, Boyd Sam trying to get around Heath Pierce. They'll cut it back post, and there it is. Johnny Steele behind the defender. Beautiful service, and it's 1 1. I think it's going to be an own goal, but I'll give credit to Johnny Steele. Maybe I'm wrong, but it was his run that was terrific. And we talked about Lloyd Sam getting into the game. This is what he does best. Gets out wide, plays the ball over. Oh, it was Johnny Steele. Good call, Joe. Sorry, Johnny. He stuck that left foot up. I thought it was an own goal, but that's a great finish by Johnny Steele. What are you doing to finally get one? You take it away? Good finish by Steele. Beaten at the far post. Pierce to DeVaio. Steele ahead. This is Peggy Luyendula all alone. 2-1 Red Bulls. Luyendula with his second in his many games. What a setup by Johnny Steele. Well, you turn. Talk about a game being turned upside down. It was Marco DeVaio, the culprit, gave away a square pass in his own end the red bulls pounced on it watch this pass by devio gives it away and johnny Steele. now you've got a 3v2 plays the perfect ball and red bull fans they've been waiting forever to see this from luyandula you know he's a quality player but he had trouble finishing that's a cool finish just rips it past troy perkins to the far post we know Montreal can generate chances, but Shep, you raised the warning flag. And we kick off the second half. First lead going into the second half this season. See if they can turn it into their first victory. Now, Luyandula over the top. Bradley Wright Phillips getting by. Matteo Ferrari, he's pulled down, and he 
points to the spot. A penalty for Red Bulls. I don't know what the argument's about. Here's the ball, splits the defense. That's the contact over the top. And really, it was the grab. Ferrari, had he not used the right arm to grab the right arm of Bradley Wright Phillips, he never would have gotten the call. But it is what he says it is. Go to the PK spot. Prize, there's no card. Louis Andula steps up, puts it off the post. And the rebound over the ball. Wow. That's a disaster. You'd rather not get the punt penalty kick, Joe, than take it and miss it. Because now momentum will switch back to Montreal. And that's not even close. I mean, he rips it with so much velocity. Had Troy Perkins going the right way. Are all lined for Luis Robles, or has Ibrahim Sagaya been credited for a save? This cut across for Devaya. Kamora right on his shoulder. Goes over both of them. Romero. To Justin Mapp. Felipe flips it on to Mapp. Gets through. Save is made by Robles. And then a diving Sagaya sliding in front of the shot. Should he get credit for another save? Well, that's a bad injury. You can tell from the body language of Luis Robles. And it is nice to see it, an actual doctor <laughs> Shep, giving the full checkout. Nothing against the athletic trainers. <laughs> Driven into the right corner. Justin Mapp is there. Cuts it across. Sends a header and into the net. And it's Felipe to score the tying goal. All alone. And it's 2-2. Surprised, we identified Justin Mapp before the game as one of the players to watch, and absolutely perfection in terms of this cross with the left foot. And then Felipe, I mean, can somebody get on him? Try to get a body on him. He finds the perfect little seam, bangs home that header. Blake Smith, pass goes behind him. Enough of a recovery, and now. Colin Warner directing traffic. Plays it right hand side. Trying to bring it down. Would have been a great play if he had was Eric Miller. Now finds the Smith. Left hand side to Vile. Cuts to the right foot. Saved by Robles. Well, we've been talking about Robles the entire game. Another superb save. The is going to cut it back inside to the right foot. And as a goalkeeper, you always want to cheat. And there's the final whistle. Well, the upside, Red Bull's got two goals. I think he would have called the foul and played advantage. Now Matt. Slips it ahead for DeVaio, trying to cut through. DeVaio pulled that by Clamora. DeVaio can't believe no call. That looked eerily similar to the play last week, which led to a penalty kick. Justin Mapp, the creator. I think that's a good non-call. I, on the live play, thought it was a penalty kick, but that's a little brush of the shoulder by Kamara right here, and it is shoulder to shoulder. And Marco DeVaio does a great job making it. This time it's Peggy Luyandula and Mike Petke.